Oh, anyway, this is their room, guys. Has not been touched at all. Back up. See, they got toys, Christmas toys, on their bunk bed. Daughter has a little toddler bed. As you can see, their room is not messy. Their room hasn't been touched at all. That has been the last update for my one person who is probably subscribed to this channel. Penny Lane, you know who you are. Um, I have just went to a court hearing. What was it? January 24th. Like you said, nothing happens. Nothing ever happens. They say the same thing over and over again. Same allegations over and over again. And yes, I've done the case plan. I've completed those goals, which was really nothing. Um, make sure you have housing. I've had my house, my apartment for a year now. The lease is up. I've had lights, water. Oh, one more thing. Just, you know, to make it publicly known that everybody who has a case doesn't have problems at all. Unfortunately, I cannot turn my camera around. There we go. That's the refrigerator. This is my freezer. have a regular camera but I don't feel like uploading and editing and things like that I just use this handy dandy camera on my phone and if you can see my house my house is not you know it's a little need to be picked up but the floor is Clear if you can see that. I do not edit my videos. And I know my upstairs neighbors is probably like, who is she talking to? But I don't care. Um yeah, I got some dishes to wash. But yeah. My face is dry. Let me hold on. <laughs> hold that though. Yeah. <laughs> Cause we gonna do those. You know what I'm saying? Get me some um, lotion. Got plenty of that too. See that? Yeah, we got all types of lotion. Baby lotion. Regular lotion. Let me get some on lotion. been doing this for a while for a year now and I mean I did literally in the court they say I completed my case plan goals my husband completed his case plan goals I'm not saying that there wasn't no reason now a lot of people get up here and say there was no reason for them to take my children I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to lie and say that. But they caught us. Literally, we was moving. Like, come on. Seriously. 
uh, I'm going to say it's not a legitimate reason to take anybody's children, but I'm not going to say it's not a reason. So, <sighs> yes. You know, just the world we live in. Close this door. That's a room, my children's room, that is never touched. Literally. I keep the door closed because walking past it, seeing an empty room, that's depressing. Very depressing. Um. I'm going to try to sit y'all somewhere while I wash my dishes. Don't judge me, okay? My favorite girl says that. I don't own the rights to that. But don't judge me. Alright, hold on. Let's see where I can put y'all. Can y'all see me? Yeah, y'all can see me perfect right there. Right there. Hold on. decoration board because I don't have a tripod. I have a selfie stick but it doesn't help. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't feel too far. Shut up dog. Tell my dog to shut up. ASPA, whoever. Now y'all can see me. Hi. So, yeah. But, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna watch the edition. Don't mind me. I'm crazy too much. Like the day too. Like, I don't think they're crazy. I think they're crazy. Like, take my children away for a year. So, this is the game plan, y'all. They said they're going to be a year. I mean, not a year. So, third day of supervisors. After I just did a year, that's what I'm saying. Of supervisors. This is they were separate from my husband. My husband was only allowed to see one child who was taken without any allegations. And they claimed that my husband abused my two children, which was untrue. And the doctor confirmed that it was untrue. But they said that blue tech it matching the description of what happened. Basically, my son burnt himself with hot soup. His body low. You know, when your child is a little bit hungrier than the other children, they tend to be impatient. And that's exactly what happened to my son. And they blamed it on me and my husband. Me because I failed to protect him from something <laughs> that my husband did not do. finish the later. But um yeah. I gotta clean up 
my area. This is my area, guys. I have my little table here. If you can see it, it's my little table. But, yeah. I'll finish situating my house. And then I'll probably stay up another three to four hours. It's sad. It really is. You know, days go by. We have visitation every Tuesday and Wednesday. This is what I'm just want to prepare for people who are just getting into what you call the case plan, you know, that you have visitation twice a week when they want you to, because if you do not stay on top of them, yes, my good friend on YouTube as well, Penny Lane, shout out, um, is right. They will not give you visitation unless you call them, call the supervisor. You have to constantly keep, sorry for the noise upstairs, but you have to keep on the supervisor. You have to keep on the caseworker. You have to keep on to the transporter and the, the foster care parent and God forbid I'm lucky by a good chance that my mother is the one who called on me ain't that a coincidence <laughs> but luckily she was able to take the children because they still have a screening process on even though the person don't have a screening process on who can call on you, they have a screening process on who can take your children. So, luckily, um, they were able to get my children all to my mom. I'm lucky to have that on my side because I know some families they don't even know who their children are with they don't know if their children are being abused they don't know if their children are being fed they don't know if their children are being hugged and kissed goodnight my children are not being hugged and kissed goodnight I can tell you that because I wasn't my mother was an alcoholic she was an abuser and she left me with whoever she can leave me with. But I know that my children are being fed. They're being clothed because I was fed. I was cold. You know, I was enough for the system not to take me. But that didn't mean the system didn't come out. Because when you leave your child with God knows who to go do God knows what, somebody's gonna say something. And that's exactly what happened to me. Somebody said something, but I was skimming it, you know? Like, I, I had lights and food and clothes on my back. And when I got old enough to actually say, hey, something ain't right, by that time, welfare, CPS, whatever you want to call them, wasn't interested in me because I was too old. And nobody wants to adopt a teenager. Come on, let's be real. They have one place that they send teenagers in CPS, and you can look it up. 12 to 18 goes to group homes. So they had no interest in me. But 
like I said, I'm lucky to have, you know, someone to take my children. Even though she called, which is, <laughs> yeah, everybody asks me, how do you deal with your own mother calling on you? I just realized I had my Bluetooth going backwards, guys. Wait a minute. <coughs> uh oh. Okay. Y'all probably just heard a whole bunch of noise, and I'm going to hear it later. But when I do view this video, but I don't edit. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, it's going to be a part one and part two because something happened to my camera. But, um, like I was saying, I was able to have a mother, but that was the case update. The case update is that there is no case update. It's just another six months of going to visitation. Basically, to me, it's like the CPS sets you up to fail. They wouldn't, well, they didn't have no gas. Maybe now they'll have, be homeless. They won't have no place. Or they'll give up because they realize that they just can't care for children. And me and my husband is like, they could continue and the people on my case are Christina Wright, um, Jimlyn Washington, Jemma Moses done been on my case. These are the people on my DCF case. And literally, they have Literally, when y'all say kidnapped, yet they have kidnapped my children. And they will not return my children. And they don't care to hear my children's complaints, hear my children crying out for their parents, not some... It's just sad. But I have learned to, you know, hold in tears, hold in complaints, hold in fights. Because I used to go at it with DCF constantly. Miss Wright, Christina Wright, especially. All day, every day. She would text me at 6 o'clock at night, 7 o'clock at night. But then when I text her with an actual concern, she says, oh, I'm off. Why are you texting me? But you just texted me yesterday at 6 to 7 o'clock at night to tell me that you're not happy with the fact that I don't want to go all the way to an hour away from my house at 6 o'clock at night so I can see my children for two hours and sit in a McDonald's. And I'm traveling back at 7 o'clock at night on the bus system where someone else got killed, a young girl, because I'm only 27. And through in the back of a mall. That's how much care they had about killing her. They threw her in the back of the mall in the dumpster. And you want me to travel at night? I don't care if you think I wouldn't get no man in the world. There's always that one person that says a young girl alone at night. I 
how am I have to deal with my dog? My dog needs a bath, guys. If I can show you my dog, my dog needs a bath. I'm gonna figure out the features on this thing. I'm gonna figure it out though. But <clears throat> yeah, I just got up here to tell you guys that the update on it. My husband said I'm supposed to talk louder, but I don't want to talk that loud. Excuse me. Mm, that was very nice. Sorry. Um, Hush. Shebo. Ain't nobody want to hear it. Hush. She thinks I'm actually talking to people. I'm talking to people, but she thinks that you're here right now. But um, she needs a bath and some food and water and a new home. Anybody want a dog? I'm kidding. My daughter wanted this dog. Yeah, my daughter wanted this dog, and this dog has gotten on my nerves, cotton picking nerves. I do not curse. Um, cutting down. Only time I curse is when I'm highly, 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 appallingly upset, and it blurts out, and I go, "Crap, I cursed." And I look down. But, um, I'm just rambling on. This is a long vlog. But, I just want to say, I'm not giving up. Ever. So, if my daughter watches this, if anybody comes across this, I'm not giving up on my children. And they can sit here and wait for an eternity for something to happen because ain't nothing going to happen. I'm still going to be paying my lights. I'm still going to be paying my water. I'm still going to be paying my rent whether I live here or I move because we want to move. <laughs> it's the end of our lease. And we're tired of this cramped apartment that we got at last minute. Put my selfie stick up. Which I think. No. Okay. But, yeah. So, we're thinking about getting a place. Another house. Um, we had a house. But we just moved from our apartment to here. And then we, we're going to move to a house. Um, because we want a house. We want a backyard for the children to play at. We don't want to continue to stay in this cramped apartment and then, you know, our children come in to this. We want them to be able to play. Our apartment doesn't even offer a playground. Can you believe that? But they, they're mostly two bedrooms over there. Mm. But, yeah. So we plan on moving. I said I'm going to end the vlog at like 30 minutes because I didn't last it that long talking to you guys. I love talking to you guys. Um, but yeah, there'll be another cat in the hat. I, I'm pretty sure y'all saw that, that rap video. Yeah, my daughter do, does rap videos now. You know, she's getting uh, talented with the rap. literally been through the ringer. I mean, I have spoke to my attorney. My attorney says separation is the best option. Let me tell you why. Because now that my husband, he has not been charged with anything, but they say guilty until proven innocent. So, 
So they feel like I should separate my family to appease them. So that way, when I'm a single mother and I'm struggling with three children, they can try to take my children again and this time succeed because they say I'm a single mother. Smart. Very intelligent. I'm going to be a computer scientist. That's how intelligent I am. They're not going to tell me separation is the best option. No. I'm going to go through your little hoops. I'm going to do all your little... If you want to do another 30 days, another 30 days, eventually, eventually, somebody is going to realize that this family is just not going to give up, so we might as well stop wasting our time and focus on a different family. Because that's what they say. They say you wait long enough and the predator goes away. Because you just get tired of waiting. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's exactly what me and my husband are going to do. He has done everything they have asked. He has passed all drug screens. He has supplied six months of income. Battery dying, guys. He has supplied six months of income. He has done all, all they wanted him to do. I have done everything they want. They wanted me to get a, a job. I got a FEMA. I got a government job. I got a government job. And they still won't let my children go. Because my children are beautiful and they're healthy. And they're not crack fiend out. They're not dope fiend out. They still won't let my children go. But on that note, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm going to go wash this dog in here. I wouldn't even show y'all her. And I'm going to go wash the rest of these dishes because I only washed one pot while I was talking to y'all. Because I want to focus on y'all. I'm going to go ahead get that done. And I guess I'll see y'all for the next update. Next update is March 8th. So be on the lookout. I'll probably do one. Probably a week or so after. Two weeks or so after. Just to see how everything goes. If I have to add or whatever to the update. Okay. Peace.